this printer that we're going to be using, uh, if you caught my last video, we made, we were making stickers. So we made the background and you can see right here, this is what we're going to be printing and cutting out. So I have my images here ready to be printed. Um, this printer, I'm using the Canon Image ProGraph Pro 300. It's a brand new printer that Canon just came out with. Um, it's a super good printer. I love it. It prints extremely well. Probably one of the best printers that I have had so far. Um, but right now, we're going to start printing them out on sticker paper. And I'm going to hit print and send it to the printer. But the, the paper that I'm using today, the sticker paper, is the Koala inkjet vinyl sticker paper, and it's the eight and a half by 11 glossy. And I, I really do like this. Um, and it can be used for your uh, ink, your inkjet printer, but um, you can also use this with pigment inks. And in this particular printer, the, the Image Prograph Pro 300 by Canon, this is a pigment ink printer. And I just, this printer is, is extremely nice. It prints out my stickers really well. So I just want to show you the quality that this prints out because it prints really nice. And to keep you all from having to watch this whole thing, we'll speed this part up so that you're not bored. <laughs> that on my channel and I show you in procreate how to make the black lines around your images so that you can actually cut them out and use them as stickers but if you look at this like already you can see how amazing the print quality is And these are so cute. But all of all of my bare images and all that I do um, a few I do have a few digital bears in my Etsy store and I'll link that in the description below. But we're gonna be cutting these out with my scan and cut here in just a few moments just as soon as the print gets done. But these are just so adorable and you can like put these on anything. And if this video helps you out in any way, I would so appreciate you clicking the subscribe button. Um, hit the like button if you like this video. I would so appreciate it. And right now we are ready to cut these out. Okay guys, we're back and we just finished printing our images and now we are going to cut them out with the scan and cut. And I already have my bears ready to load into the scan and cut. They're already on the mat. And we're gonna click home. Don't there. We're gonna click okay. And we are going to load our mat. And this is the button that you use to load your mat. And it's just gonna take it in. 
Okay. And now what we want to do is we, we want to scan these images and cut them out directly. So we're going to hit scan and we're going to go to direct cut. And this means that the machine, and we want to cut directly from the machine. We're not sending the data to a computer or anything. So we're going to hit start. And when we hit start, it's going to suck the images in and it's going to scan it. So here we go. Right now it's scanning the images and then it's going to come right back out. This is probably one of the biggest uses that I'd use this machine for. Um, is cutting out stuff directly. And that way I don't have to have die cuts for all my stamped images that I use. It's just, just so convenient to cut everything out and it saves a lot of money on not having to buy dies for my stamps. So we want to get rid of all of this stuff over here. So there's a red block, a red square around this whole thing. And we're going to move this with the arrow. Try to keep my hand out of the way to where we're not getting any of that black stuff. And I don't want Missy's Creations. That's my Etsy store. We don't want, and it's also my Etsy store is where you'll find some digital images of my bears that I've done. And I, I hand draw these and make them into digital images. So I think that that's really good. None of this black scribble, because if you leave this on here, what this is going to do, it's going to try, the machine's going to try to cut that. So you just want all these, the black outlines on here. That's what the machine's going to cut. So we're going to preview this to see if this is what we want. And right now you're seeing, and I'll, and I'll bring this up closer so you can see all these outlines. So they're all outlined and nothing seems to be out of place. Everything looks good. So we're going to hit okay again, because now we want to cut it. So I don't want to edit anything. This is exactly the way I want to cut it out. So we're going to hit okay again. And you can see every little, the bears down here, you can see the outline of what it's going to cut and what the machine is going to tell itself to cut. So we are going to select and when you go into it, it gives you cut, draw, emboss, other choices. But right now for this particular project and cutting these out into stickers, we want to hit cut. And now you can do a test. I don't, <laughs> but what the test will do is it'll allow you to put a little square down in the, or a little triangle down in the corner and it'll do a test cut. I'm not half cutting these. I just want to directly cut them out. Um, so I'm, I'm not setting it for a half cut or anything like that. If if you want that, that's a whole different thing and you do have to set this half cut to on and then it will only cut it and then you'll just be able to peel up the image off of the paper. But I want to directly cut out the whole image. So I'm going to hit start and the machine is going to start cutting these out. And I'm making these for all of my clients that bought bears from me um, in my Etsy store. 
I'm making these to put in Christmas cards for all of them and I will I will be shipping them out probably this weekend hopefully we try to get them in the mail by Saturday to unload it and now I'm going to if you watch let's see this is like I have it to wear see where it cut them out so just peeling this off carefully <laughs> okay just like that see how they're all cut and then just gotta pop these little guys off in frame <laughs> but yeah and that's how I cut my stickers out and they turn out so cute they're so adorable so if this um, if this video helped you in any way please um, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel I would so appreciate it so please just hit that subscribe button and I am thinking about doing a giveaway soon. Um, I just got to figure out what that's going to be. So if this is so helpful to you and even let me know in the comments, because I, I mean, I, I hope that this will help someone out there and because it was, it was really hard for me to get started in sticker making. It was really confusing. So if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. If you have any comments that this helped you in any way, I would absolutely love to hear that. So thanks again, guys. Thanks for watching and till next time. Bye.